is such a quintessentially British sports car maker. They've been around for 110 years. What I love about them is their sheer optimism because here we are in a convertible car, but actually Britain has more convertible cars per capita than any country in Europe. And that is because you have to be optimistic if you're a Brit. We're always waiting for that glimmer of hope that we might get some sunshine. There's plenty of optimism in the color scheme of this car as well. Miami blue, you know, you can imagine yourself hanging out in Miami, getting some rays, scoping out the beach or something like that anyway. It's a wonderful machine based on the 1950s model that they came out with after World War II when the country was filled with optimism. Soldiers coming back from the war, people having a good time basically. The 50s was almost reigniting that sense of freedom from the 1920s, the roaring 20s. But not everybody had plain sailing with 50s roadsters. BMW themselves came out with the 507 model they only produced 250, but it nearly bankrupted the business because the sales were so bad. Well, those cars now sell for a couple of million each. And what Morgan has is a very old fashioned approach. Everything is hand built and you're getting that, that same sense of freedom. It's very responsive, very light steering, surprisingly light. And 97% of this car is new. So although the car has been around for over 70 years, this actually is a completely new platform. They've really gone to town with the chassis development and this one is this bonded aluminium which basically makes it, they say, exponentially stiffer. Stiffness is a good thing for road holding. It's a bad thing if it shakes the teeth out of your head, but there's no sense of that with this car. Very smooth, very easy going. The tyres are doing the work for you and that stiff chassis is basically just holding it together and it's giving you fantastic cornering grip. Morgan are very old fashioned in their approach to designing things. So although the chassis and other components around the car are very high tech, there's still no traction control. You don't really feel you need it. The diff actually is quite open. So for my taste, if you were to take this car to a track or something, you want that tightened up so you could really belt out of the corners. But in a road setting, you can be quite aggressive with the throttle and it never bites you because it'll spin that inside wheel before you get yourself into any major trouble. The heart of the ship is in front of me. It's a two litre BMW twin scroll, four cylinder engine. And the twin scroll on the turbo basically phases the power output so you don't get any turbo lagging. It gives a generous proportion all through the rev range. It's super drivable. The car only weighs a thousand kilograms. So the power to weight ratio is really good, four to one. It's a lovely engine, just burbles along, gives you loads of power, top speed, 149 miles per hour. Lovely little balance to it easy to use on the throttle, super responsive. 40 miles to the gallon, almost practical. Morgan have really kept that spirit of the 1950s alive with this Roadster. The heart and soul of this car is very much an old school spirit, artisan approach to everything they do. Six speed manual gearbox, you can zip through those gears very, very easily, super comfortable. Even though I'm six foot tall, it's quite a small cabin just about coil myself in here without banging my elbows around when I'm operating the car. Just hear those turbos coming on song, it's wonderful. For me it's no contest, the manual transmission it's so easy to use, why would you want an automatic? But I guess you have to scoot around town all the time. Auto is a way to go. And you get a slightly faster acceleration with the six speed, zero to 60 in 5.2 seconds. And you can drop that to 4.8 with the auto. They've done a lovely job with updating this car without losing what it was all about in the first place. I love the fact the engine has these beautiful louvers and it's a hand beaten panel. There's men of physically put this car together, every single part of it. Being hand-built can be a curse if it's in the wrong hands. In the case of Morgan, they've been doing it so long that really it's a generational skill that they've passed on from one set of loving hands to the next. You know that this car has been extremely well put together, tailor-made really for the motoring enthusiast. One thing you do get used to with the Morgan is the very long bonnet in front of you. So it feels like the world's kind of shifting around at the back of the car. 
So when you turn the steering wheel, you see these big wheel arches moving ahead of you. It's kind of like being at the back end of a super tanker. Not that it handles like a super tanker, it doesn't. It's very, very precise. It's kind of like being in a car version of a Spitfire. And a day like this, it's what these cars were built for. Just take them out and enjoy them. Feel the rush of air in a modern, stylish, cool little sports car. It's perfect. Great dynamic handling when you're not stuck in traffic. But I'm stuck in traffic. The freedom of the open road denied by camper vans.